about to vote on whether or not to ask the voters to consider another levy for their, for their school district. At our last board meeting, Dr. Taylor suggested to me that the time for making concessions is during negotiations. Yet he stated that this levy needs to go on the ballot in May. While concessions do not legally need to be made during bargaining, and in many cases are not, as long as both parties agree, I find it highly unlikely that our, our employees will concede any increases in health care costs or adjustments to their salary structure outside of formal bargaining. We are about to test the willingness of the taxpayer to increase their taxes before we provide them with the data they need to be able to make an informed decision. If we are truly a data-driven district, then surely we can wait to get the information from the state and the potential concessions from the employees before asking for more money from the taxpayers. The last levy request in November of 2010 returned a strong message from the voters. We are about to make the same request with virtually no changes. I do not understand why we are to believe that the answer will be any different. Some of the reasons we should not be approaching the voters prematurely are the result of the last levy request, the results from the telephone survey. Paul Fallon, who's a political consultant, and we received um, his two-page uh, opinion and article identifying that, and I quote, most political consultants would not use any message that does not reach 50, uh, the 50% threshold for making voters more likely to vote for an issue. Based on the recent survey, we are at 40%. The average income in our district is declining, and the cost to the consumer for home heat, fuel, and food continues to increase. <clears throat> I do not understand how we can hope to pass this levy. Well wishes, good teachers, and a promise of continued excellent ratings will not change the economy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we are experiencing the new normal with regards to the economic situation in America. I am, this, I am asking this board to reconsider their vote tonight and to postpone this request until we can receive and provide more information to ourselves and the voters. My concern is that if a levy request fails in May, it will make the next request for funding even more challenging. 